According to Wikipedia, Henry David Thoreau, July 12, 1817, May 6, 1862, was an American naturalist, essayist, poet, and philosopher. A leading transcendentalist, he is best known for his book Walden, a reflection upon simple living in natural surroundings, and his essay Civil Disobedience, originally published as Resistance to Civil Government, an argument for disobedience to an unjust state. Thoreau's books, articles, essays, journals, and poetry amount to more than 20 volumes. Among his lasting contributions are his writings on natural history and philosophy, in which he anticipated the methods and findings of ecology and environmental history, two sources of modern-day environmentalism. His literary style interweaves close observation of nature, personal experience, pointed rhetoric, symbolic meanings, and historical lore, while displaying a poetic sensibility, philosophical austerity, and attention to practical detail. He was also deeply interested in the idea of survival in the face of hostile elements, historical change, and natural decay, at the same time he advocated abandoning waste and illusion in order to discover life's true essential needs. Thoreau was a lifelong abolitionist, delivering lectures that attacked the fugitive slave law while praising the writings of Wendell Phillips and defending the abolitionist John Brown. Thoreau's philosophy of civil disobedience later influenced the political thoughts and actions of such notable figures as Leo Tolstoy, Mahatma Gandhi, and Martin Luther King Jr. Thoreau is sometimes referred to as an anarchist. In Civil Disobedience, Thoreau wrote, I heartily accept the motto, that government is best which governs least, and I should like to see it acted up to more rapidly and systematically. Carried out, it finally amounts to this, which also I believe, that government is best which governs not at all, and when men are prepared for it, that will be the kind of government which they will have, but, to speak practically and as a citizen, unlike those who call themselves no government men, I ask for, not at once no government, but at once a better government. Although his writings would receive widespread acclaim, Thoreau's ideas were not universally applauded. Scottish author Robert Louis Stevenson criticized Thoreau as a skulker, saying he did not wish virtue to go out of him among his fellow men, but slunk into a corner to hoard it for himself. Nathaniel Hawthorne had mixed feelings about Thoreau. He noted that he is a keen and delicate observer of nature, a genuine observer, which, I suspect, is almost as rare a character as even an original poet, and nature, in return for his love, seems to adopt him as her especial child, and shows him secrets which few others are allowed to witness. On the other hand, he also wrote that Thoreau repudiated all regular modes of getting a living, and seems inclined to lead a sort of Indian life among civilized men. In a similar vein, poet John Greenleaf Whittier detested what he deemed to be the wicked and heathenish message of Walden, claiming that Thoreau wanted man to lower himself to the level of a woodchuck and walk on four legs. In response to such criticisms, English novelist George Eliot, writing for the Westminster Review, characterized such critics as uninspired and narrow-minded. People, very wise in their own eyes, who would have every man's life ordered according to a particular pattern, and who are intolerant of every existence the utility of which is not palpable to them, may poo-poo Mr. Thoreau in this episode in his history, as unpractical and dreamy. Thoreau himself also responded to the criticism in a paragraph of his work Walden by illustrating the irrelevance of their inquiries. I should not obtrude my affairs so much on the notice of my readers if very particular inquiries had not been made by my townsmen concerning my mode of life, which some would call impertinent, though they do not appear to me at all impertinent, but, considering the circumstances, very natural and pertinent. Some have asked what I got to eat, if I did not feel lonesome, if I was not afraid, and the like. Others have been curious to learn what portion of my income I devoted to charitable purposes, and some, who have large families, how many poor children I maintain, unfortunately, I am confined to this theme by the narrowness of my experience. Moreover, I, on my side, require of every writer, first or last, a simple and sincere account of his own life, and not merely what he has heard of other men's lives, I trust that none will stretch the seams in putting on the coat, for it may do good service to him whom it fits. Recent criticism has accused Thoreau of hypocrisy, misanthropy, and being sanctimonious, based on his writings in Walden, although this criticism has been perceived as highly selective. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video.